Beauty and welcome back to my channel. You guys might be wondering why is her skin glowing? She looks like she's glowing. It's because I just did my ultimate skincare routine and I'll go ahead and link that video down below. In this video though, I thought what better than after I completely declogged my pores and all that kind of stuff to, you know, show you guys a full coverage highlight and contour glam routine. I did a previous highlight and contour video, I'll also link that down below, and I did one half of my face with a glam contour and highlight, and the other half for natural. Today I'm going to do my entire face glam, like as, and it's, it's, it's a little bit more updated than the last one. I do a few things differently, I use a few different products, and I want to share them with you. So if you guys are interested in this video, then just keep on watching. So first step in any full cover routine is you want to prime your face. I like to use two different kinds of primers. The first primer that I'm going to use is a sample of the Pure Correcting Primer. I've actually really been loving this one. It's a blurring primer and it's very dimethicone feeling. goes on white like a lotion, but when you rub it out, it's got that silicone blurring effect and I like that a lot. I like to rub it in and press inside my nose. Now today my makeup is going to look super good because I just did that crazy skincare right before this, so my makeup's really going to apply, but these products do work very well. So next uh, primer that I'm going to be going in with is the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Primer. This was in my favorites. This I got in a Fat Fit Fun box, and this is my second bottle, and I need a third one. I use this every single day. Tap it around my face. I use a, a lot of this stuff. I really love the illumination that it brings. It has a base tint to it, so it does put some color on your face as well. You see that like beautiful illumination that it gives you? It's grand. I love it. I'm going to let that sit on my face a little bit, but I am going to be explaining what I'm going to use next. So I did get this sample of Make Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation, and this is in the shade um, Y335. It does not say a name on here, um, but it is the Y335. And then I'm also going to mix it with the uh, Flower Beauty Light Illusion foundation. Um, this one is just in natural beige. I really like the yellowy undertone of this and because I'm, I have an olive undertone, um, I definitely need like a more yellow based foundation, but I want to try that Makeup Forever formula so I will mix the two and I do want this to be very full coverage. That are a little bit different that I'm going to be doing in this video is I'm going to be contouring underneath my foundation and I was going to use the uh, Wet n Wild contour sticks, but I did get another sample. A lot, of the, a couple of these products are definitely samples. Um, but I did order the, order the Hourglass foundation, so I'm going to be trying that out. Uh, maybe a video will come on that. Who knows? But this is the Hourglass um, contour stick. Of course, I got it on my dress. Great. Um. Yeah, so this is the Hourglass Contouring Stick. I think it's the foundation, but it's uh, just in a deeper shade. So I'm just going to use this to contour under my foundation. And you guys are going to be like, why are you doing that? This is a trick that Scott Barnes does to J.Lo. And anything that J.Lo does, we should all be doing. Plus, it's going to look a lot, a lot more minimal than um, if you were to do contouring over the foundation because you're going to blend the contour onto the foundation. But down, I do like to go in with a very compact brush. This is from Royal and Langer Nickel. It's the Complex Complexion BMD 185 brush. It's a very dense brush. And then I just like to blend this into my skin. This is a very, this has got a very warm undertone, which I don't mind right now because I'm going to be putting my foundation over this. But this is not something I would use or a color that I would use on top of foundation. So I would not recommend doing this with this particular product on top of foundation. You want to go with something just a little bit more gray because this is going to look a little crazy on top of your foundation. Do you see how like full coverage this stuff is? Um, but it really, underneath foundation, it really looks beautiful. Over the top, I'm going to go in with some Flower Beauty foundation. I'm just going to pump it on the back of my hand. It's a beautiful foundation. I did a review on this, and I really like it. Then I'm going to take just one pump of the Makeup Forever foundation. 
Oh, it looks like pretty much exactly the same. It's just not as yellow undertoned, but it's a deep, it's a nice color actually. Okay. And then I'm just going to dot this all over my face. Like I said, guys, don't be like, oh, she's putting on a lot of foundation. We are. Today we're going heavy. Today we're going full glam. The way that contouring underneath your foundation really gives you some definition from the start. And I really like this new trick for whenever I'm, not when I'm doing my quick everyday makeup, but for really getting dolled up. I really like the effect it gives and I've been testing it out and I love it. I'm going to go back in with that Langer Nickel brush and I'm going to remove all of that product that was previously on there. Take it off the brush. This brush is amazing and I'm just going to start doing, and because I just did, you see that skincare that I just did if you go watch the video, I exfoliated every single particle of dead skin off of my face so I don't want to hear anybody in the comments like, oh my god, that was doing that, it causes microdermabrasion, it's going to make your skin flake. No. Not if you correctly prep your skin, guys. Don't let people tell you what to do. Do you. Next thing, I'm going to go into a little bit of concealer. Now what I like to do is I like to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape and I like to actually like put it in there, but the closest to my actual eyes, like right near my inner corner, um, I like to go in with this Neutrogena Hydro Boost. This has hyaluronic acid, so it's not a full coverage concealer whatsoever. So first I'm going to go in with this, and it's very brightening, and I love the texture of this concealer, but for full glam, this is just not going to do it. But I love it near my eye, because it does not like make my eye feel dry or weird. It makes my eye, eye under eye area look nice and hydrated, and I really love it. I'll go in with the Tarte Shape Tape. I'm in the shade Light Neutral. Most of my foundations are gonna be neutral. My foundation and my concealers, they run neutral because there's not a lot of places that cater to olive toned skin, so neutral is just where I have to go. Then I like to blend this, my concealers in with a beauty blender. And then at the very end, I go back in with that Langer Nickel brush and I get near my nose area because my nose area breaks apart the quickest. Oh, this brush, like I've been using a lot. I really am in love with it. And I just, I dab the brush into my nose and then I do small circular motions onto my nose right here because that's where it breaks up. And I really want that product to get in there and not break up. Near my smile lines too. After that, you want to set your makeup to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere. I'm going to use a few different powders. Today is an extra day, guys. So first one I'm going to go into is the Derma Blend Translucent Setting Powder. This is truly a brightening powder. This is not, it's very white, okay? Uh, it hasn't given me flashback, but that doesn't mean that it's not going to give you flashback. You know what I'm saying? So do with that what you will. I'm going to take some of it into my cap. Then I'm going to go into the LA Girl Banana Powder and I'm going to just like pour a little bit into the cap with the white translucent powder. And I'm going to mix my own little concoction because I want it to have some color but this banana powder is a little too yellow. So I mix with another brush the two powders together. And this Derma Blend powder is bomb, like bomb.com. And then I want to go back in with that Beauty Blender and make sure there's no creases underneath my eyes before I set it with powder and dip my beauty sponge into that cap and then just press that into your skin. Okay, just press it in there. And we are gonna do something that is called baking. Now the cool thing is that I already contoured behind my foundation. So contouring is only gonna make things look even more sculpted. So you also wanna be very careful about that. I like to go in for contouring with the L'Oreal Lumi Bronze It Powder. This is so good, guys. It has a beautiful sheen. It looks a little bit light. Um, obviously, if you are, you know, deeper, then this is not going to work for you. But if you're my skin tone or even lighter than me, this is beautiful. It's like got a satin finish. Okay. okay got a satin foundation and it's got a small bit of gray undertone but it doesn't have like 
you're not going to look gray. And that's what I don't like about a lot of contour powders is that you just look like you're dead. So we're gonna go in. I'm gonna use the crown brush from that kit that I got in my Fat Fit Fun Box. And it's perfect for contouring. extra ones I gave my friend who's a little bit deeper that color because I knew she would get more out of it than I was getting out of it um I think I'm gonna go in with the I think I'm gonna go in with the peachier toned one which is this guy right here but they're super pigmented look at that brush so you gotta be a little careful I like to go straight on my apple and then blend it back Next thing that I like to do, this powder, guys, I don't have enough good things to say about this Milani powder. It's a Milani Prep Set and Glow Illuminating Translucent Powder, and honestly, it's a beautiful powder. It makes your skin just look creamy and beautiful, and you you don't need too much of this, and I like to take it on that a big fluffy brush. You can use like the It Cosmetics one. I like to use this little e.l.f. one. It's from the professional one, the professional line. And I just like to take it all over the face and it brings your face kind of like some life. Like my skin just looks so creamy now after applying this powder. I just, can you guys see that? And it just looks, it looks like I have a luminous, luminescence to my face. It doesn't have any glitter in it either. I don't know what's in that powder, but it is bomb.com. Next thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to use the Milani Baked Bronzer, and this has a more golden undertone, and it does have a little bit of shimmer in it. So I like to take this kind of a thing on a stippling brush. This is a dual fiber brush. It's beautiful for working with products like this that you don't want to disperse too much of it, but you do want to get the color on your face, and it applies it beautifully. And I just do the top of my cheeks right here. I don't go too far down and then I just blend it into my forehead and it gives a beautiful glow without being too much. I'm going to spray my face. And since I've used this before and it doesn't really show up on camera so I'll insert a picture of something, it's the Fresh Vitamin Nectar Mist. This is not like a setting spray, but as I've already expressed in the past, I don't really like setting sprays because I don't like the way it makes my face feel. It makes my face feel like, like, like glue is being sprayed on my face. Like you might as well spray hairspray on your face. So the thing that I'm going in with that is new, or newer, actually it's very new, it's the Hourglass, um, this is the Ambient Light, Light Edit Unlocked Powder. Now this one's different from the last one. It has like those, those three like, you know, illuminating and lightening powders, and then it has like a few blushy tones, and then it has one that is very highlighty. So I'm gonna try them out and see what I. I'm gonna take like a small fluffy brush, and I'm using a small one because like the pans are small. So I'm just going to take those first two shades. I'm gonna mix them, mostly the first shade though, 
and I'm just going to dust this all over my face. And it really does give your face like a beautiful illumination. It's similar to the Milani powder, but this might be a little bit even more creamy than before. And you guys, I'm going to be looking flawless today. I'm a freaking Leah. Okay. Next, I'm going to go into the more deeper, bronzier shade, and I'm just going to hit that like right here. Like I said, this is a super light powder. It's not like anything crazy. Last thing that I'm going to do, you guys are like, oh, here we go. She's super extra. I'm going to go in with the NARS Orgasm blush, and I'm just going to like kind of balance my face out because I feel like I don't have enough color. And I also want a little glimmer. I mean, this blush can do no wrong. This blush looks good on everybody. Everybody. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and do my eye makeup and lashes and lips and all that kind of stuff. And then I will be right back. But that was, this is like my full, fa full face contouring. And then I'll highlight when I come back. Anastasia A23 brush. This is the best in the world. And I'm going to go in with my Pure Cosmetics highlighter that comes in the Creator palette. And I love their formula because it just, oh god, this is the time, right? I love the way this highlighter performs on your face. Okay, you guys, so that is a full face full coverage, or at least my full coverage way to contour and highlight. You look super like sculpted, but it looks beautiful. And it doesn't look too cakey or, you know, people sometimes they assume full coverage uh, means like you're gonna look like cake face, but that's not necessarily true. So um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. And um, if you guys are interested in how I got this eye look, you can also watch my next video, which is on the Natasha Denona Star Palette, and I love the way the look came out, so sneak peek for you guys. Um, if you guys are not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button. I really appreciate it, and click the post notification bell to see the rest of my uploads, and I can't wait till next time. Bye, guys.